Welcome to Hot News. We're connected over the internet with Coco and Lide, the Congregational Evangelist with the Manila Church. The waters are still rising in Manila and several parts of the city. 78 members of the congregation are missing and unaccounted for. And sadly, another typhoon is on its way. But we were able to speak with Coco. Well, as of uh, our count this morning, Mike, we still have about 78 disciples unaccounted for. And so we're doing everything that we can to get in touch with them. There's still some areas in Manila that are flooded, and we're trying to get to them, swim to them, get some boats to them, uh, try every type of communication. But Hope site in Laguna, which is very close to Metro Manila, is still underwater. Uh, the, the, uh, the buildings have at least four feet of water in them. So we got teams in... Uh, uh, in various places set right now and what we're doing the disciples are sending out packages of food water and clothes because many of the disciples bro, that are still stranded they lost everything they don't have clothes uh, they're starving and so we got teams going out there sending out food to them which is the most crucial at this point and water and even medicines the disciples are fighting really well. I mean, they are awesome. Their hearts, their spirits are very high. They're all asking, how can we help despite themselves being victims? They're still out there to fight up with things, even from their homes. They're taking things from their homes so that they can share with the other disciples. Disciples that have lost their homes are staying with disciples who still have uh, uh, rooms to spare and, and spaces to spare. So the spirits of the disciples are very high. Uh, I know of uh, a couples having 50 people in their homes, others having about 20 people in their homes. But continuously pray that we will be able to locate and help all the disciples that are still missing and even those that uh, we have found but still have a lot of needs. So, Please pray for that situation and continuously help with our calamity fund because that's what we're, that's what we're trying to get out into the hands of disciples as fast as we can so that they can begin to rebuild their lives. So, uh, amen, bro, and keep in touch. It's just great to know that we're all connected with each other here. Well, we'll and uh, we are not alone. Well, you're you're not alone. We're praying for you and. Churches are mobilizing even uh, this week as we speak, and I know uh, people are planning on contributions, and we want to help people get their lives back together, but uh, you're in our hearts and in our prayers, and, uh, and your faith is very inspiring. I know that's the staff behind you there. Please give them, uh, give them all our love here from San Antonio and across the U.S. Amen. Amen. We'll do that, Michael. Thank you so much, Bob.